Hey guys, it's me, Tom Groner, and today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite, favorite um, coffee in the morning. It's pretty easy, it's pretty fast, um, so I'll show you. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, comment below. Um, I, I do mine a little bit different um, than regular um, recipes call for, so... Um, my little touches might be a little bit different, um, but I will go through all of the all of the information that I got from the recipes and I will go through what I actually do. So this isn't in the recipe, but this is what I do first. I take my milk and I use vanilla almond milk um, and then I put it in a jar like that because I like heated milk when I, when I drink mine. Let me put this back in here. <clears throat> and what I do is I shake it because it gets really frothy and nice if you microwave it after you shake it. Um, most of the, the, most of the coffee, um, what cock, I'm sorry. I should tell you, I'm making whipped coffee. Most of the whipped coffee things I've seen always does um, water with their coffee, but I put the milk in with my coffee instead. Um, and then um, I will use the rest of the warm milk for the liquid for the coffee too. So we're gonna go one, two, So there we go. The other thing that I do is I don't add sugar to mine because mine has sugar in it because I use Hills Brothers caramel white caram or white chocolate caramel. So I don't add sugar to mine. So it's um, two tablespoons of this. And let me get my beater ready. So if you were using regular coffee, you'd use two tablespoons also, but then they recommend using two tablespoons of sugar and then, um, then use two tablespoons of hot water. I use just two tablespoons of the Hills Brothers Cappuccino because it's sweet enough. Um, and then I'll use two tablespoons of the milk that I have heating up. Which looks like it's almost done. Oh, look at that. It's nice and frothy. You can see the froth on the top. If it's not hot enough, it won't whip up good enough. So you just have to make sure that you get it hot enough. I'm hoping this is hot enough. I don't know if you could see the froth here. <laughs> so... One, two, put that in the sink, and then I just turn my mixer on. They say to mix it for like two minutes or until it comes out to the consistency that you like it. Yeah, I found this recipe online and since I since I found it, I don't want to go back. This coffee is amazing. It's, I know it's like a Spanish or Cuban coffee, I think. But when I looked it up, I just looked up whipped coffee and that's what it came up under.
Now, I don't like mine as thick as other people's. Um, other people will make it whipped up to the point where it's, um, it looks like pudding and it stays on top of the coffee. I want mine to mix in with my coffee. So then I get a coffee cup. I bought this coffee cup before I moved to Florida. Um, so I put the milk in. Ooh, I might have used too much milk, but that's okay. And then on top, I put the liquid. Let me get a bowl scraper. Because this is the best part of it. So I'm scraping all the sugary gooness down. Chubby boy wants all the good tasting calories in it. So now, mine isn't fancy. A lot of people would have their stand on top. Um, mine, I don't have stand on top. When I'm done, it looks like this. And I could probably do lines and stuff. Sorry, I didn't really need to shake my phone. But I just, I don't. I'm usually in a hurry, so I just leave it like that. Then I grab a straw, which I happen to have a ton of because I like straws, especially um, when I have my mustache. And I put the top on, but I, it's too high right now, so. Mmm, um, delicious. It's so good. So anyways, that's how I make mine. There's variations for other people. You just have to find out wh which one you like. So... That's it. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you guys, um, especially right now during all of this isolation stuff, do everything with kindness. Make sure that you people are having a hard time with everything going on. So they're not as nice as they usually are. So keep that in mind and just kind of walk on when people are kind of being, you know, angry, mean you know, silly about stuff. Um, <clears throat> like when you encounter them in the stores or even your own family. Um, it's not worth getting into the arguments. You know, it's just, you might as well just let it go and just move on because you know it's not, not an argument between you. It's just the situation that we're in right now. So be kind to everyone. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, again, if you like this video, please subscribe, please um, comment, please like, and have a great day.